The Mio XL is an incredibly powerful MIDI interface when connected to a computer and used with a DAW. But what if you want to use this in a DAW-less scenario? Without a computer, just plug and connect your MIDI gear. Is it still a capable device and how do we do that? Well, I'm going to talk about how to do that in this video. So the first thing I want to mention up front is to get your initial settings dialed in just the way you want it, you are going to want to connect this to a computer. So for the initial connection, yes, let's connect this to our computer. But I'm going to show you in this video how to connect it to your computer, how to really quickly set up some MIDI routings and save it to your device so you can disconnect your computer and operate this uh, interface without a computer connected. So first thing, again, uh, quite ironic thing to talk about in using without a computer is let's connect it to our computer. I've got a, a USB cable here going from my interface uh, to my computer and I'm using the USB DAW connection. The second thing I've done is I've downloaded Oracle for X-Series, which is the free control software from iConnectivity. This allows you to connect and configure your interfaces, um, your audio and MIDI interfaces with this software. Now we're just gonna do some really quick settings and then again, we're gonna disconnect this from our computer. So the primary thing I wanna talk about in this video, though we could uh, go really, really deep with this, is just simply MIDI routings. Let's create a couple scenarios where again, without a DAW, we could say, for example, let's plug um, uh, into uh, DIN 7 input, and I want it to come out of DIN 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, right? Uh, just a real simple setup. Maybe this is our master controller and keyboard, and we want it to output out of all of these. So how do we make that happen? Again, really simple to do in Oracle for X series. So with my interface connected to my computer, I'm gonna go to MIDI routing. In this scenario, again, we talked about saying, let's connect to uh, DIN 7 input, okay? So we're gonna go down here to source, and we're looking for DIN, we're looking for DIN 7. Now, where do we wanna send this? We wanna send this to outputs 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. This is very, very simple to do. What I'm gonna do is look for DIN, okay? And I'm looking for, uh, what did we say? 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, okay? So that's my kind of default, default routing. Now, um, let's say this is one particular keyboard and I want in this scenario that keyboard to send to those outputs. But let's say there's a scenario where I wanna do a similar thing, but I want what's ever connected to uh, DIN 1 to go to those outputs, okay? First thing I wanna do with this is save this preset. So we're gonna say, uh, go back out of here, we're gonna go to presets, and you see we're currently loaded as preset one. I wanna click save preset as, and I want to choose preset one, and it's gonna give me an opportunity to uh, name this. So I'm gonna name this, um, let's see, DIN 7 master, okay? Because that's my master keyboard. That's basically saying whatever gets connected into DIN 7 is going to be my master keyboard. Now let's make it to where what's ever plugged into DIN 1 is going to be my master keyboard. So we're gonna go back to MIDI routing, uh, we're gonna go DIN 7 and we're going to disconnect this, okay? Uh, let's say in this case, we just want it to go out of DIN 7, okay? We're gonna go to DIN 1 and this time we want this to go to DIN 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. As you probably guess it, let's save a preset for that. So let's go back here, let's go to presets. Um, we're gonna do save preset as, our previous one was DIN 7 master, this one preset two is going to be DIN 1 master, okay? and let's save this. Now, um, you can imagine the endless possibilities we could do here and say, let's have this DIN connection go to here, let's have it do this, let's have it filter, let's have it remap. So many possibilities that we could do. But in this particular case, we just have two presets, okay, that we want to say, uh, we want to change as we're operating this and using this. Now, again, title of this video is use it without a computer. So I'm gonna go to my interface and disconnect from my computer. Now let's flip up our interface What's really cool about this is we have this uh, great touchscreen panel here, uh, and there's a couple different ways to navigate presets on our Mio XL. First, we could use this knob to really quickly navigate, and let's say we wanna go to DIN 7 Master, okay? So we have that pulled up, and we want to say, I want whatever's plugged into DIN 7 to be the choice, so I can do that, I can click this button, and it's going to load on that preset. Now let's change it back to our other preset. Again, we could scroll this to that one, we could click to load it. Now you may have noticed this, but this is something I, I really like about this kind of as a safety feature. If this accidentally gets bumped and goes to preset 32, unless I press on this or I press load over here, it's not gonna change preset. So now let's actually intentionally change it. Let's have it go to DIN 7 master. This time I'm gonna press load, right? And that's going to load that particular preset 
uh, to my device, which is cool. I also have these next and back buttons if, uh, in case I don't wanna do this or I think uh, it's, it's gonna be difficult to, to navigate that. Maybe this is better for faster connections. Maybe I just wanna increment up one particular preset. Then let's wait for this to finish its cycle. Okay, good. I just wanna press next. Again, it's gonna say, are you sure? and then I'm gonna press load to load that. So that's a very elementary, very quick look at how to use the Mio XL without a computer in a doll-less setup and scenario. Again, initially connect it to your computer, make your MIDI routings, do your filtering, your remapping, whatever you need to do with your devices, save those presets on your Mio XL, and then navigate through those presets directly on the front panel of your Mio XL. And at that point, you'll, you'll say, doll, who needs a stinking doll? I'm super happy with my setup. So that's the power of the Mio XL in a studio setup without a doll, without a computer. If you have any questions about things I didn't cover in this video, maybe something particular to your setup and scenario, make sure to reach out to iConnectivity support. You can contact them using the links in the description of this video. You can also check out the knowledge base to see articles and tutorials we have that maybe will answer your question immediately right away. Thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one. Take care everybody, bye.